killer, the show ain't nothing iller Man, I'm a lady killer, if I want her, I'm a stiller I promise I can make her fly away like caterpillar So if you don't know by now, then you should probably get familiar So, so, so if you don't know by now, then you should probably get familiar What is going on guys? It is me Kyle. I am finally back. It has been quite some time. Yes it has. This is taking a little shift here. We're going to go over how to fix a Game Boy Color when the buttons aren't working. Uh, my particular problem was the uh, the silicon buttons under the plastic button, I should say, uh, was failing to respond to the board. So I bought a replacement pack of those on Amazon and they finally came in. Here we sped up the process of me doing the unscrewing. Once that's been unscrewed, then we're going to go in and peel it away. You can move on to your Phillips head. Okay, now that it's been properly taken apart, I believe here that I'm going to remove the top part there very carefully. It's very important that you're careful with that so you don't actually mess up the ribbon cable or catch it on there. Here you see there's three ones right here once you've gotten under the tri-wings that the coating top six part come in. Those are going to be Phillips heads. You can get a small package of the finer tips. Uh, my screwdrivers in particular needed to be a little bit thicker because my screws started to get stripped from just constant undoing and redoing. I'm trying to p fix this particular model. I own uh, four different Game Boy Colors at the moment, so this was the one that I bought in hopes to repair a little bit, you know, fix it up. After that's all been unscrewed here, you can just peel it away. You can either take off the ribbon cable, but that's a lot of work for just getting in here without doing any my major repairs, I should say. So here you can just peel those right off. They're just held on with little buttons. Then you just stick the new ones right here in these little holes. Make sure they fit down real well. Press them a few times. Once everything's back in place, including the start and select buttons, make sure those get in there because if you forget those, that's going to be a pain in the butt to undo all the screws and redo all the screws. You can flip the board back over. That's speaker. Gets a little bit, you got to push that into place. Then once that's in there, you're good to go. You can press everything back down into place. There was me pressing the buttons. Make sure what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the, I'm just going to put in the center screw actually. And then I'm going to put the back on, plug in some batteries, and make sure all the buttons work right so I don't have to go back in, undo all the screws. I highly suggest doing this when you're doing any repair project. I'm just using Pokemon Gold, so you plug that in. Uh, the glare off the LEDs that I personally needed myself to see because I get in the way of my ceiling light will make a glare and it's going to be unable to see. It's just a very difficult way to get the camera because it's just a cheap old webcam that I got. But I found out it's the easiest way because uh, my old one was a little bit higher quality, but with the autofocus, it was trying to autofocus like all the time and it's very difficult. But now with the new manual focus, by just turning the lens, it's a little bit easier. Everything seemed to fit into place properly, so I'm just going to take the back part off again. Again, be very gentle. Sometimes it likes to stick. You can put in the last two screws and finally be done with the insides if everything goes well. Make sure your power button didn't fall out like as you might will here in a second. Just make slide a few times, make sure it all fits in. I'll push it down into place. Put in the batteries, check one last time. All the buttons seem to be in working order much better than what they were before. Uh, at one point the A button and the B button actually wouldn't press at all. 
that's why I saw the immediate need for the fix, so that I didn't lose a ton of money. I only paid like two dollars for these. I can link the Amazon purchase in the description so that you can see exactly where I got them from. When taking and putting back in the batteries, I highly suggest that you use a flathead screwdriver to take them in and put them out because I feel like banging the game system on your hand or whatever you feel like banging them on to get the uh, batteries out. Just I feel like that's really bad because one of my battery springs, I'm not sure what you really want to call those, is starting to bend down where the negative side goes in. So that's just a little recommendation on my side at least. And then here's everything all put back together. That's going to be the video. I did order some custom buttons online, so those are going to be coming in. And I will have to take it all apart and put those back in, so you can catch that on part two. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Problems, better back in autumn. Every gift I try to get her, she already got them. Messing with the TA.